Salway, ladies and gentlemen, whether you are from the past, the present, or the future, I am Xman321, and welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This is uh, part two, and my microphone's a lot better, so to celebrate this fact, let's throw a car! Uh, yeah! <laughs> My mic's a lot better. Uh, oh no, I killed a car! I'm a monster. Uh, we're fighting Venom. He's one of Spider-Man's most famous adversaries in the comics, even though he wasn't around from the start, of of course. Uh, and we're fighting him on his own playing field with the symbiote suit, the black suit, one of, uh, of Spider-Man's most famous suits aside from his classic red and blue. What I'm doing here is a tendril strike, and... Uh, give me a sec. Sorry, Venom's really easy to fight. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what I was doing was the Tendril Strike. <coughs> the Tendril Strike. I I'm saying that a lot now. It's uh, your best friend in this fight, and it's your best friend in a lot of boss fights, because it's sort of like the... It's sort of like Scorpion Spear in Mortal Kombat. Uh, when you use it on a boss character here, it just pulls you towards them and allows you to get a combo off on them. But when you fight random mooks and use it on, which you'll see a little bit later on, uh, you like drag them towards you. It's really fun. Uh, you can even do it in the air and stuff. Okay, so this fa phase of the fight's done. You dare to take the other from me. I will take the girl from you. So anyway, there are three phases to this fight. This is the final, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that unless I'm right. I'll find out in a minute. Anyway, in this one, he's just going to be walking really slowly towards Mary Jane. So don't let him touch her. That's kind of a given. Again, Tendril Strike is your best friend. Like, just, it drags you towards him. He can't, as you can see here, he can't even get, like, close to her if you just keep spamming that it's super easy to fight venom he's a really easy intro boss and i'll be quiet now brock look at me when i talk to you mary jane thank god is she okay i got your birthday present but then there was this loud noise and everything's fine let's go you're gonna be fine. I love my present. I love my present. Okay, so Venom got away, but uh, as that thing just showed, you can now switch between the red and blue and the black suit on command. And that is a big gimmick throughout this entire, uh, this entire game. I'm pretty sure I don't remember the exact way this was promoted. I don't even think I knew about this game until it came out and my dad bought it. <laughs> uh, but a big selling point about this, at least in my mind, was the idea of being able to switch between the red and black suits on the fly. Uh, Spider-Man 3... The, uh, the game, not the movie. Spider-Man 3 showed that off a bit, but it, was act it wasn't as easy to do here. And in this game... You can do a lot more with the red and black suit. Because you don't have to go through a minigame to switch to the red suit again, because and you don't have to you can stay in the black suit for however long as you want. It's like Spider-Man has complete control over the thing. And a big gimmick that you can do through it, uh, I learned this one watching some of the loading screens, is that you can switch between the wet the, 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 the give me a second. Cutscene. Everyone in one piece, get her inside. You stop those lunatics. Uh, yeah, o okay. And before you could say friendly neighborhood Spider Man, I'm in the middle of a gang war. Good times. MJ was getting her arm in a cast, and I was feeling lousy for not being by her side. But if she knew I was ignoring what was going on in the streets, she would have kicked me back out the door. 
Black suit time. <laughs> All right, so we go immediately from Venom to straight punts. I'm gonna throw a car at him. That uh, you can see on the bottom left there that it, I got two black points, and there's a that's uh, because there's a morality system in this game where you can be good and get red points and bad and get black points. I knew this was over too quickly. You're gonna pay for messing up my boy, spider freak! It's Cage! Wasted! Now that was rude. I'm never gonna get to elaborate on anything, am I? Oh, but, uh, Luke Cage! Huzzah! Uh, <laughs> um, he's not nearly as popular as Spider-Man. I certainly didn't know how, uh, who he was my first time playing through this game. But, uh, he's a bit more popular now. Uh, he's got his own show on Netflix now. Don't know if it's any good. Haven't watched it yet. But, um, Luke Cage's powers, from what I understand... <laughs> Are that he has impenetrable skin, and I think that's about it. He might have some form of super strength. Don't quote me on that. I am not a Luke Cage trivia master. I don't really know much about him at all. But I know he's in this game, and that was a freaking awesome way to introduce him. Uh, but as I was saying, just a bit ago, like, I don't think I need to talk about the morality system much more. It was, it's really... It'll, I'll focus more on it when it becomes a part of the actual story. But, anyway, the uh, red and black suit, you can switch between them and use their different combos. Which is a really cool gimmick, and I like it a lot. Like, you can switch between costumes mid-combo and do different combos, but I'll elaborate on the differences between the red and black suit in a second. So what brings you up, Town Spidey? I was coming to see about a friend in the emergency room when all these fine chaps came along. Good work shutting down the drive-by. Eh, it was nothing. I've been chasing these guys around all day. You see any more, you shut them down. I I'll do what I can. Good. Look for me in the park later. I probably could have talked during that mission complete sequence, but I love that jingle way too much. That was super cool. Well, where we are right now is at the upgrade screen, and as you can see, Right there at the top, you can switch between the red and black suits for upgrading. And that's because they have very different attacks on both ends. As To elaborate on what I was talking about earlier, uh, as you get points, you can spend them here in the upgrades menu to get more combo abilities for both your red and black suit separately. But then, as you're fighting the bad guys, you can actually switch between them and do, like, combination combos. Which, I've never been particularly good at, but it's a really cool idea, and you'll see me do it a couple times, probably throughout this part. Uh, Luke Cage just uh, asked us to uh, stop five crimes, and on that little mini-map on the bottom left, those flashing things are crimes. Uh, what you're seeing right now is me trying and failing to get a spider emblem out of that thing that I don't know how to actually uh, name. I don't know the name for that. But uh, you saw me pick up a spider emblem at the hospital before talking to Luke Cage. And what, what these things do is that they level up and, if I'm not mistaken, they actually get you more upgrades to pick from. I'm not entirely sure. I picked it up for you, unconventional means. So, here we have, uh... We have some thugs here. I'll just be beating up some thugs in the background while I explain what I understand about the spider emblems. I think, if nothing else, they're just EXP, uh, things. Like, you can get experience points out of it. You collect enough emblems, you get a bunch of XP or something. Or, it's that you get more upgrades. I honestly don't remember what it is. Uh, I threw another car at them that lowered my morality a little bit. Uh, and a cop was in plain sight. Don't know how I didn't kill him. 
but yes, yeah, sp spider emblems don't really know what they do, but I'll collect them when I see them. This is me using the tendril attack and kicking a guy across the street. I don't know how he's not dead. <laughs> um, I'm, now that that's done, let me elaborate on a few more differences between D-Red and Black Suits. Uh, as you saw right there, I just used webs. And then I just used my tendril attack in the Black Suit. Uh, if you were paying attention on the missions menu, you would see that there's web shots on the bottom in the selection there that I can upgrade. Uh, and tendril attack, where web shoots would normally be when you're on the black suit selection. And that's because uh, you can't fire webs in the black suit, and you can't use a tendril in the red suit. Uh, that's one of the unique abilities between red and blue. I mean, <laughs> red and black, not red and blue. Though the symbiote suit does kind of look blue sometimes. Uh, anyway, that must be switching combo. But there are a few, enough, uh, <laughs> there are a couple other differences. For one, I can't throw a car as anything but the black suit. Spider-Man, they don't ex exactly explain why, but I can think of a couple reasons. One being the black suit enhances his strength so he can do it, and the other is that, well, he can do it in his red suit, but he won't let himself do it unless he's in the black suit, which sort of darkens his morality a little bit. Because even though he has control over the suit, it's still going to be affecting his own personality. And that is where the morality system comes in. It's a very big focus of this entire game. Like, I don't remember what the box said, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was like advertising, like, you're a hero or a villain, because... Really, there are four different endings to this game, depending on your choices. And without spoiling too much, uh, there's the hero pathway, where you do all of the hero choices. There's the villain pathway, where you do all of the villain-esque choices. There's the hero pathway, I mean, the anti-hero pathway, where I think what happens is that you... Yeah, I think the anti-hero pathway, weirdly enough, is do a bunch of villain stuff, but then sudden, but then uh, pick the red option at the end because that's the be all end all thing, and the uh, anti-villain is when you pick a bunch of red stuff, but then you suddenly go good at the end. Well, it could be the other way around. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, we just stopped five crimes, so I'm gonna go over to Luke Cage and talk to him in my red suit, of course. So I'll be quiet while they talk. Good job, Spidey. Thanks to you, the gangs are thinking twice before having a shootout in the middle of the street. But we have to keep up the pressure. Tell me about these gangs. They are engaging in a number of activities dangerous to the community. Your unique skills could be perfect for stopping them. Luke, you've been at this for a while now, trying to get these gangs to calm down, I mean. It's an ongoing job, Spidey. I had a piece working, and someone decided they were disrespected. And now they're trying to get revenge. That's just stupid. That's life, man. I grew up in a nice, quiet corner of Queens. So you have no idea what I'm talking about. That's one way of saying it. Sure. These kids think they haven't got any currency beyond respect. They don't see any way out, and no future beyond what they can carve out for themselves. And their solution is to turn the city into a war zone? They don't think beyond today. That's why I'm out here, to show them there's another way. There's a future. Well, I've got your back, man. I want to help any way I can. There's some guys out here that need to get got, knock some heads together, yeah? But most are just guys who've fallen in with the wrong crowd, and they just need to hear some kind words. Hey, Luke, what did you mean when you said I had unique skills? You have the potential to be a great fighter, but you need to use all your senses. Hey, I've got more sense than you. Excuse me? You know, my spider sense. One of these days, I'll think of something cooler to call it. But until then, fine. Good. You got an extra sense. Now use it to its full potential. What do you mean exactly? You can see all your opponents before they see you. Figure out who you take out first. And I need that exact skill right now. What do you need? I've got an informant in serious danger. There's a hit about to go down and I have no way to spot the shooter until it's too late. But you... I could use my spider sense as a sniper sense. Nice. Exactly. And you can bet there'll be more than one. Now I'll tell you where the informant is, and then you can stake it out. Okay, let's do this. 
Mission activated. Go to the hit location. All right. So this is basically how your story progresses. You go talk to a superhero or supervillain or specific person, depending on your choices throughout the story. Uh, and you get missions from them, and that progresses the plot. Right now, I have a plot-specific mission going on right now, and that is, of course, the go-to-to-hit mission thing. And there's a lot of tutorials in this first part. This next part, um, if you could figure out based on what Luke Cage and Spidey were talking about, this teaches us how to use his spider sense appropriately. I used it a bit in the fight in the prologue with the symbiotes. It's your lock-on feature, primarily, but... It'll get explained a little better once we get there. For now, though, I'm gonna do a little bit of swinging around and just sort of playing. You know, the basic stuff. I'm collecting emblems, fighting some people. I was basically... I wanted... I want to end this before I get to the hit location because I don't quite want... Because this is... I don't want to have episodes that are too long. I mean, yeah... I could, ha I could have 30 minute parts, and I probably will later on, once we get to a lot of bigger chunks, but for now, I want these to be nice, short, and sweet. So, I'm trying not to uh, do too much here. But uh, anyway, here I am, beating up a few thugs. I Oh, I thought it was- Yeah! Kick him off the building, Spider-Man! JJ. JJJ was right. Spider-Man is a menace. He kills thugs. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop here. See you guys next time. Till then, this is X-Man321 signing out. Ciao!